that uh, quotation of uh, my landed city, Mr. Peef. Mr. Ubet. Oh, Mr. Ubet. Mm -hmm. Courts will only issue orders specifically prayed for. The law of such orders is not an adult. An affidavit says <clears throat> not just a motion needs to test. Supported the grounds under supporting affidavit. <laughs> The, the law on miscellaneous applications is anchored on the civil procedures. It's nowhere in the criminal procedure. Therefore, this document is in This purpose as a document to be presented before the court for the purpose of seeking orders. In one more minute, Mr. Omari, one more minute. Yes. One oh, more minute. One minute. Yes. Oh. Your Honor, one will only be allowed to review a sentence when it is running on, not when it is complete. The respondent was sentenced, if that is the right term for two days, for seven days, he has served. If they wanted to review that decision, it could be before they expire of that time. Lastly, Your Honor, that we completely Object to such tactics by the state of 
completely object to these tactics. I don't, I wouldn't want to talk about the content of it, but we vehemently object that let the rest of them go home or a church it be produced in the void. Mr. Sober has only one word. You only need to give him a minute. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Yes. The state has done a couple of ideas on how to punish the respondent. We came here. I am aware of the state. I am not very You can try to cover this for hours. You can let me finish. No, 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 it is okay. It is not noted, Mr. Osoro. Uh, proceed. Maybe you are not there. Maybe you are there. Maybe you are there. The state has to talk about shifting rules. The ruling that was led by the Somali court on the, on the 2nd of May, specifically in order number two, that this matter shall be mentioned on the 4th of May, 2023 at 09-00 hours for the state to appraise the court on the status of the investigations and for further orders. The court did not ask for further damage. The status report on the investigations. We expected to come to the attaching or tell us that this is what we've done or give us some evidence. It will even support the malicious application to keep holding on the response. Such kind of documents I want, I want the, the, the Supreme Court 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 here. It's full of sound and fury signifying of love. And, and this court has the powers to arrest such an injustice being perpetrated by the state. Your life. Can I, can I say yes? Hold on, please. Mr. Mabon. You, you have heard the objections and the view, they all have merit. Can I consider the time and the schedules and the, and the, the need to move? I wanted to say, I request and suggest, Your Honor, that you give us directions so that we will proceed so that Mr. Kipro, though he really has nothing to say, but can say all of it so that we don't uh, make application, make, ask you to make a ruling to come back again. Because our interest now is that Ezekiel should not be in custody any longer. The more we take you around, we end up keeping it long. I suggest that you direct in a matter that we proceed and finish up. And uh, whatever, and uh, you can even order the strike note of the pedagogy, and the security will stay what you want to say, we reply, and we finish. Uh,
at 0900 hours for the state to appraise the court on the status of the investigations and further progress. Your Honor, it is upon this subsection B of your ruling that we are before this court to appraise the court on the status of this investigation. And if there are any further orders that the court will grant, then we will make that application. I'm afraid that is what the learned senior Mr. has started. That is the first thing that in his submission he stated that the court had directed that we appraise it of the status of the investigations. That is when you invited us, invited the state and asked whether the application had been signed. Okay. So I would agree that we can take directions based on uh, on, uh, on uh, Mr. Magolo's uh, submissions. However, before the court does that, I will invite the court to consider two issues. Mr. Omari raised the question on the matters of civil procedure. This court is guided by the Criminal Procedure Code. And in any event, if the Criminal Procedure Code has not given express provisions on how this court is to be moved, <coughs> which we are going to rely on and see where we were the, the one of the orders was we be at liberty to apply for any appropriate orders which we are currently doing, then the court is also invited to look at the constitution where the criminal procedure court is silent on the way we are to move court. Under Article 159, the owner, if I may read Article 159, which I'm sure the defense councils are well aware of. Sub Subarticle? 159, Subarticle 2D. That justice, judicial authority is derived from the people and rest in the people by the courts and tribunal established under this constitution. In exercising this authority, the courts and the tribunals shall be guided by the following principles. Now that moves me to Subarticle D. That justice shall be administered without undue regard to procedural technicalities. Now, if the criminal procedure court, which is the basis upon which we come to this court and has the procedures by which we are supposed to move this court, is silent on how we are to move this court, then I invite the court to refer to Article 159, which is the supreme law of the land. And basic law tells us that any other law which is inconsistent with it is permanent by So, it has, even as I rest. One more minute. Even, even as I sit down, Your Honor, yeah. I invite the court to look at that provision in light of the submissions by the defense courts. 